Greetings, cyber dogs. This is Ren Dog coming at you from the top of the life tree in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.3 survival series. And in the previous episode, we were doing a whole bunch of mole hole, hole maintenance, and um, we got to fixing a whole bunch of stuff around here, including the wizard's roof and a whole bunch of other jazz that we needed to fix up in the mole hole. If you haven't seen that, please go back and watch the previous episode before you continue on this one and of course guys in this episode i've got something incredibly special to show you i hope you cyber dogs are ready for this because this is the biggest and the most um elaborate and most shall i say challenging build that i have yet to do in this series and i have spent the last hour or so preparing and guys i am ready to show you what i am about to build in the mole hole i have been inspired as the sun comes up behind us because now that we found various different places around our map i want to connect those places with railroads and i realize that all of our railroads are really they just end they just sort of look at this one it just sort of ends at the bottom of the mole hole entrance so guys without further ado as the sun rises over my minecraft world let me introduce to you grand mole hole station oh yeah baby down there guys you can see i have already dug out a section of the mole hole hill and there i am going to build a train station with an archway and it is going to be built um, it, it, with the inspiration taken from king's cross saint pancras in london my favorite train station in europe it is really sweet and um, just from up here, I'll just quickly show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making these arches like this um, out of wood and ev everything else is going to be glass. So it's going to be a really huge light station. And then where you see the dirt lines there, those are going to be the tracks. And then the, uh, these cobblestone things over here, these are going to be the platforms. So this track is going to go around like this and probably go toward the NPC village. Then this track is going to go underneath that and that's going to go to the outpost then this track will go underneath all of those to the to the lakeside villa then this track we don't have a destination for that one yet but this track will then go this way and veer this way um to the lakeside villa probably um i think i just yeah i think i just i said lakeside villa twice but anyway we've got one two three four five um platforms to build and those platforms are going to link up the mole hole to all the most important parts of my freaking Minecraft world, guys. Oh, God, I'm so excited to get started on this. This is like my, this is probably my favorite project to date. Now, you would have noticed also that um, I am now level 39. I've got five more levels. And that's because while I've been digging out this section over here, um, I, we'll come back to, you, uh, to this and I'll explain more to you. I have been getting experience from the mob trap and the mob trap has been working absolutely brilliantly um, and you will see as we start working on the station the mobs will start falling because we are we are within the correct uh, block range to make the mob trap work and you guys will see that oh man it is generating ridiculous amounts of mobs now that I've put up the sign so um, and that was thanks to one of the subscribers helping me out with that and guys this is the style of that of the interior of the station it is going to be slabs um white wool blue wool and more slabs um but the slab is going to have to go a little bit up these white walls are probably going to come above here um these lines are going to run all the way along here then the tracks are going to run like this all the way straight 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 the platforms are going to be along here and then this is going to sort of dip downwards it's going to be like stairs um so this level this level then there's going to be more le uh, layers and then it's going to go down to the bottom here where the tracks will start to veer off in their certain directions and of course the arch is going to look like that once we've built up the slabbage walls oh man i am so freaking excited man we've got our stuff over here um i'm going to put down some of the stuff that we don't need right away so all of this stuff really um well we need we need spades and stuff so i've got i've got some of the materials that i need to make extra tools and I'm just going to put down some of this other random jazz that we don't really need. Um, we'll put the food in there also. Now, I am in the process of getting wool. We need to get more wool. Um, and then I need to use bone meal to make the wool white. Because we need white and blue wool. So, um, we're going to go on a sheep shearing mission at some point. But, oh man, I am... Oh, check this out, guys. Also, um, 
the reason why I love 1.3 is because of the experience points you get from smelting. Now what I have been doing is been smelting a whole bunch of cobblestone so that I can make a whole butt ton of slabbage. And guys, check out how much experience points I'm going to get from this, man. As you can see, there is some, there's loads of stacks of 64 here, which is just brilliant. Um, uh, he's, he's still got more to do. You can see, I've, man, I've been smelting like, like a mofo. And I think that I got basically, I, I got, got almost seven levels or so from smelting. You see, every time I take 64, I basically get a whole, um, a whole thing of experience, a whole bar of experience, which is amazing. Um, so guys, if you, if you are playing 1.3 and you want to know how to get levels quickly, I'm telling you now, smelting is the way to go. Um, smelting in a mob trap is the fastest way to get legitimate experience in, in 1.3, I would say. Um, and man, I'm so happy, man. Level 39, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to enchant the crap out of my stuff, man. I'm so freaking excited. Um, man, in the next maintenance episode, we need to sort out that little hole there. But, in the, oh, you can hear the mob trap is filling up, baby. Now, in this episode, guys, what I'm going to do is make the walls of um, the station, of Grand Hall Station. So I'm going to complete the walls of this um, in this style. So we've got a whole bunch of our... Um, stone and now we just need to make uh, just an insane amount of slavage basically okay that's that is an insane <laughs> I didn't realize that you got so much slavage from uh, <laughs> you get three slabs per thing so that's a lot anyway um, we'll probably need all of this slavage to be honest so I'm just gonna put all that back down now let us figure out exactly how we are going to build this freaking station man oh. This is so sweet. I'm so excited about this. Um, I just, I've just come off the back of recording the uh, the new Take It series that I'm making with my brother. And Take It is, of course, an incredible Minecraft mod. Some call it the future of Minecraft. In fact, it is really something special. And um, you guys should go check out that Take It series that I'm doing with my brother. And um, it's a, it's just a lot of fun, man. But of course, this series continues too. And uh, we have so much to freaking do. It's unreal how much we have to do. Um, but first, before we start doing that other stuff, I really want to get my network system running so that I can very quickly and easily jump between my, you know, my places, basically. Um, right, so I want to go, I think we want to go, um, hmm. I think we want to go one more level up and then we'll go, um, how did we have it? We had white. Yeah, we had a white line. And a blue line. Yeah, that's that's sweet. And then slabbish to the top. No, that that is that is in the incorrect position, slabbage. Slabbage to the top. There we go, guys. Sweet. Sweet. And freaking sweet again, man. Oh, God, this is so sweet. I, you know what I am going to do? Is I'm going to take off my armor. Um, you guys have always told me to take off my armor when I'm doing crafting. And I never freaking listen to you. And look at my armor now, man. It's all freaking damaged. So now I'm naked. <laughs> well, now I'm in crafting mode. Um, and let's have a look what that looks like. So that blue line is going to run all the way along there. And maybe we'll make another one over here hmm well we'll see what it looks like in the meantime let us go get some experience points man now guys check how freaking amazing my mob look how many look how many freaking mobs are in there guys and they die from one hit right um, this is just insane this is exactly you guys remember when we first started making this mob trap I said that I wanted to get arrows I wanted to get bones and I wanted to get um, freaking gunpowder and this mob trap is just delivering the goods I mean look at that just from that one session 8 gunpowder 5 arrows 8 bones I mean that is amazing and that was what 5 minutes of, of mob trap um, so that's just incredible man I'm so happy with the with the mob trap it's just ah oh. God, it makes me happy. Now, what we need to work out is if... We yeah, I think that I think that's right. Now, I'm not sure if... Yeah, I think the slabbage is right. Right, so, so let's do this, right? 
Now, I wanted to make the station a little bit different in design to the rest of the mole hall. Because if you look, I mean, I, I really love the stations in London, the, some of the train stations. Well, in fact, the, tra the train stations in England in general are really, really awesome. And um, even some of the train stations in Europe are also really incredible. And what I like, uh, the train stations that I like the most are the, the ones that are a little bit more eccentric. They're like a little bit different. Um, and they're not, they're not your sort of traditional train stations. Um, so, for example, well, Waterloo is a good example. But King's Cross St. Pancras is a very, very good example. It's a really well-designed um, train station. And um, it's, just, it's just really huge. Like, there's so much open space inside the station. It's, it feels really awesome being in there. I love being in that station, man. So, let's have a look, man. Let's, let's, let's go all the way back here and see if that's going to look sweet. See, that's what I'm talking about, right? It's, it's got something different to it. Um, and when we've, got the, when we've got our line up there, I think it's going to look even better. Where do we put our dirt, man? We, ne we need that freaking dirt. We're in construction mode now, man. We need dirt. We need scaffolding. All right. So let's just make a bit of scaffolding here. Right, now we only have eight um, white wool, which is annoying. So what we're just going to do is is do the do a test here, th an aesthetics test. Let's check if this is actually going to work the way that we want it to. Excuse me, I got some gas. All right. I don't know what this is going to look like from down under, but it should look pretty good. And then these arches are going to be start are going to start from here. Are going to start from the top level, so they're going to be pretty high. Um, I want it to be really impressive. I want the inside of this station to be really, really airy and really big, and just feel like, a, like, a, like a station, like a really big, impressive train station. So when you take the train to the mole, uh, to the to the Grand Molehill Station, and you come up a hill, and as you come over here, you will see this beautiful station, and see that is looking really sweet. I think, um, I think that looks great. And we'll sort of come around like that um, with the rest of the wool. Sweet. Well, I'm happy. What do you guys think, man? I'd love to get your opinion at this stage of um, the interior design of the Grand Molehole Station. Um, I think it's looking pretty sweet. What we need to do now is, is go get some more wool because we need to make some blue wool um, and then turn it into white wool. <laughs> And, um, and then make some white walls so that we can continue those lines. Sheep, you know what's coming. It's time to once again get it. Come on. Um, I also made a few more babies so you can see our sheep population has dramatically increased. Um, that's because some of these little bastards got out the last time I got to the um, You know who you were. And uh, those who did escape met their demise. They were punished by death. <laughs> So you can see uh, the ones that remain are not really keen to get out there. They sort of um, stay away from the doors. They've learned their lesson. You have you learned your lesson, haven't you, you buttholes? Yeah, you especially, you bastard. All right. <laughs> now let's try and find some bones. There's some bones. Um, I think I've got a ton of bones, actually. In here. 45 bones. Now, if I, if I recall correctly, what we've got to do is make bone meal, right, and then stick like that. No? Oh, God. Oh, Lord. What have I done? How do you do this? No! It doesn't work. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, I thought that... Um, What about like, does that do anything? No. See, I thought if you just put blue wool in with some bone meal, it would actually make it white, but that is not the case. So we, what we're gonna have to do is make um, the sheep white again, <laughs> and then, and then shear their asses once again. Um, but that's cool. What we can do for now is actually just carry on building the, the slabbage walls, um, and then we will be ready eventually for 
um, for the wool. So what I want to do, what I wanted to do, right, is make the entrance to the station from the molehill really big. I want it to be really big, and I think this is eventually going to become a room over here that's going to store, um, or it, it's going to just become a huge open space, I think. So I'm not going to build the wall, uh, the slab of the wall over there, but I am going to build it. Um, oh Lord, it looks like I have to go. Yeah, I think this is right. Oh man, sweet, sweet, sweet. So guys, this is probably going to take a while um, <laughs> to build this, this, these walls of slabbage. Um, as you can see, I'm going to have to do the whole of this side of the wall um, and the whole of that side of the wall and then also do the wall along there. So, And then I'm, then I'm going to have to work out how to put in the pillars, um, which is obviously going to take a freaking but a whole long time to do. So, um, I think what we'll do, we're almost at the end of this episode, but I think what we're going to do in the next episode is is do some fast forward action where, um, you know, you guys can watch me complete th these tasks in fast forward. Um, and hopefully we will get the walls of the station ready in the next episode, after which we can freaking start looking at building the actual platforms and... Um, setting up the the roof and man it's gonna be s freaking sweet dudes holy crap um, how many I'd like to know how many of you guys have actually made stations in your Minecraft worlds um, and and if so I'd love to see them and send me a link if you got a sweet ass station if you have a sweet ass station guys um, and you have a video made on it you can do a, a video reply to this video and I will I will accept your video reply and maybe we'll see how many stations there are out there and we can compare them and see which are the sweetest stations we can do like station um, uh, Minecraft station spotting or something sweet like that um, but guys you know what time it is oh yeah it is Dagolith time baby and um, I do believe that a couple episodes back um, there was a rendering problem with the video and we did not see the uh, the last sign that got onto the dog lift so guys um, for those of you who who uh, didn't see the last sign there is the one sign and there is the other sign hopefully you guys can see your names on there um, and welcome to the dog lift and we are now going to do today's dog lift entries of the episode all right, guys, let's get you up there. Now, the second wall of the Dogolith is almost complete. Can you believe it? Um, unbelievable, guys. I'm so happy about it. So, from uh, dogcraft.net, we've got Mr. Amart, 50 foul. And we've got Enderman Dog. Sweet name, dude. And now, from YouTube, we've got T. Blakeful. Welcome to the Dogolith. And we have Nat, OMG. Um, welcome to, to the Dogolith, my friends. Remember, if you want to get your asses on the Dogolith, you got to be a subscriber to this channel. And of course, um, you got to leave a comment in on a video somewhere that is not spam. And you can also have a chance of getting on the Dogolith by joining dogcraft.net, which is the, the cyber dog community from this series where we all hang out and chat to each other. Guys, this is the end of this episode. This has been Ren Dog playing Minecraft Survival. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it for your asses. And I'd love to know your opinion on the station and any ideas you might have to make it even sweeter than it is already going to be. Guys, this is Rendux signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.